It's been a great seven years with this company. I think just that company alone over the last seven years, we've probably made half a million dollars just from that contract. First off, shout out to Tawu for asking the question. He asked, can I talk about my first ever cleaning contract? So that's what I'm gonna do today, tell you guys how I got my first contract. Sometimes this is, that's, that's all it takes, that first one, and then you're off to the races. And my first contract was actually extremely helpful for me because it gave me a solid income that I knew I was gonna be able to you know, get a place to stay. Now, if you guys don't know, I started my cleaning company when I was homeless out here in Seattle, Washington. I own GCO Commercial Cleaning out here. And Mukwetil, we service this, the entire greater Seattle area and some of Portland. We've been in business for about seven years and I, yeah, I got my first contract about seven years ago. Uh, a little over seven years ago as I got my first job, but my first actual reoccurring on paper signed up for 12, 12 months uh, was about seven years ago and it's been, I've been on the run since then. Actually, my first client was the one who gave me my second contract as well. Uh, the person, my point of contact was at the location, my first location, liked us so much and, and liked the work that we were doing that when she left to go to another facility, she brought us over there with us. And so we didn't end that contract. We actually still have it today. You guys probably see it all the time. It's in a lot of my videos because it's it's my home contract. I, I, you know, I, I train employees there. I experiment with new cleaning concepts there. I do everything from that, from that contract and they've grown from being a two day a week account to now being a five day a week account where we're there four or five hours a night, you know, every day of the business week. It's extremely important that you, you know, you get that first account. And uh, I wanna be able to help you guys get, get your first account and, you know, get off to the races on your cleaning company, just like it did for me. And if my story helps you guys a little bit, then, then you know, hopefully, you know, you guys can learn something or take something that I did and, and you know, see if it works for you or experiment and try other things or variations of it. That's the goal of this channel, man. Uh, one of the best things you can do for your business is to be on a continuous learning journey. And that starts by subscribing to channels like this, people who are in your industry, doing the things that you wanna do or doing the things that you're doing. It's always good to have other ears and other opinions and other ideas about what you're doing to, to you know, just, just so you have it, so you know what's going on in your industry and you know how others are thinking. And also that so that you see it's possible. You see, I'm you know, here in my office, I didn't, I, when I first started this cleaning company seven years ago, I was just hoping to, to be able to not be homeless anymore. And now I'm sitting in another space that I can, you know, that costs more, more, more than my actual rent for my home. It's great, but I want you guys to be in that same space. I don't have a whole lot to sell you. We have been getting offers to do sponsorships and stuff like that. So I'll talk a little bit more about that after we come back after the break. Appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys for being here. Make sure you join the boss family. Give this video a like, uh, you know, that quick thumbs up, turn that thumb blue for your boy. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, one of the best things you can do is be on a continuous learning journey. Subscribe to all the commercial cleaning companies company channels and uh, I promise you you'll be better for it because the information that you need is going to seek you out it's going to come to you as opposed to you asking all these questions and trying to figure out the right way to go about things why not have the information come to you but we'll be right back with how to how I got my first commercial cleaning contract right after the intro see you guys in a second Loving how you boast, babe. It's for all my dreamers and my doers and all the entrepreneurs. Just believe in what you're doing and pursuing them. Just for all my boasts, babe. All right, so again, shout out to Todd Wu for asking the question. He wants to know how I got my first cleaning contract, and it's actually uh, really simple. It was a lot of luck. Marketing is not luck. You know, any, any type of marketing takes skill, and to attract people takes skill. But for me, it was a little bit of skill and mostly luck. The answer to the question is it was, it was a Google ad. But... I wouldn't say just go and start running Google ads because you need to hear the entire story in order to have some, some context. I think my very first attempt at spending some money on marketing uh, from the first couple of jobs that I had worked, you know, a job at Wet Seal and maybe a couple of post-construction cleaning jobs, no contracts though, just kind of work that I'm just saying yes to just to just to get money in my pocket. And so I had a little bit of money to spend on marketing or that I decided to spend on marketing as opposed to trying to find somewhere to live. And I think the first thing I did was I spent $600 on door hangers. Dumb, dumb ass move. That was not smart at all. I was trying to be a commercial cleaner and use door hangers for, you know, door hangers go on residential homes, not business doors. So that was pretty much a waste of money. I think within that that order, I may have got maybe one or 200 flyers. Uh, so the flowers, flyers were a little bit more beneficial. I went around putting flyers in mailboxes, putting door hangers on doors. 
And that was how we got our first couple of jobs, just because we may have gotten the door of uh, some superintendent for a construction company. So that's how we got our first couple of calls. And then I started focusing on online marketing and seeing what I can do to, to appear better online than my competition, because I noticed that my, my competition wasn't, they weren't using anything online. They didn't do Facebook, they didn't do Google, they didn't do Instagram or anything like that. And so I started building that online presence, starting with my website. I built the website, it wasn't getting any traffic, and so, uh, you know, when you sign up for all of those things, you get a Google, you get a little card that says you get a free hundred dollars in ad money if you spend a hundred dollars or what have you. So that's what I did. I used one of those Google, you know, things that when you sign up for Google ads, they give you a free amount of ad spend after you, you spend so much money. And so that's, uh, after making my website, I made sure it was the best that I could do. There was still huge SEO problems. There were still huge, you know, targeting problems in my campaign. I still had a bunch of negative keywords in my campaign. It was ugly. So that's why I say it was luck because when I look back on it, that, that it should not have worked. It should, it should not have worked at all, especially knowing what I know now about, you know, buying Google ads and, and doing PPC uh, campaigns and things like that. It should not have worked. I had a terrible campaign set up. So it's flooded with negative keywords and uh, it was, you know, targeting the wrong areas and people from the Philippines and China were clicking the ad. But before it got bad, after I had only maybe spent about a dollar seventy-five in ads, someone had filled out the lead form, and it was my first client, the, the gymnastics facility that you guys have seen in a lot of videos. We still clean it to this day. Everyone who's worked for me has worked in that in that facility at some point. It's been great. It, it's been a great place. It's a little bit different. It's extremely chalky. It's you know kind of giving us a lot of the, the media and the and the pictures and the, and the ads and stuff that we that we create there because we're allowed to do a lot. We're not, you know, it's a space that that's home for us. We're allowed to do pretty much whatever we want as long as our, our job is done. And you know, the the staff is very familiar with us. It's actually the practice facility for the University of Washington boys gymnastics team. So uh, their coaching staff and all those guys we've watched, you know, go from freshman to becoming captain of the team and graduating. And you know, we're on the second generation of that so it's kind of cool watching those kids grow and and get better at their craft and, and things like that so it's it's been great and not to mention like i said in the beginning the point of original point of contact you know carried us to another location uh that same year and we also still have that account as well so very similar locations very similar size it's been a great a great thing that that first account is usually uh the hardest one it, it usually is the hardest one but what i did was you know focused on internet marketing and I was able to focus on doing that in a way where it's what the customer was doing in order to find me not how I was trying to go about making my marketing work I spent money on flyers because that was that was something that I wanted to do I wanted to do flyers because it was cheaper than anything else or it, it looked good it, it gave a presentation it looked made my company look like we were we were something but that wasn't me thinking about how the customer was going to find me that was me just kind of it's putting stuff out there and you should do a lot of that you should do a little bit of everything because uh you never know what's going to work and what's going to attract you know so a certain type of person so someone may be attracted to the flyer and, and may not like the you know text ads or google ads when they see them some people like seeing youtube pre-roll ads or if it's if they just finished searching for cleaning and then they see your youtube pre-roll ad you know some people respond well to that some people don't so you got to try a little bit of everything and and be consistent with it don't stop take measurements and then make make adjustments you know obviously look at your data make adjustments according to the data and then move forward uh, because that's actually a good segue into how after getting that client, I actually wasted $6,000 on that same campaign and got no other business to speak of. Um, I think uh, we maybe got a few other walkthroughs from that campaign, but I didn't turn that campaign off until we spent six grand and I had only <laughs> really gotten that one client. So Google, Google ads was, is the answer, but it's not the answer. You also still have to be good at Google ads. I just got lucky my first time trying it that uh, it got in front of someone at the right time while they were actually looking for a cleaner. And uh, it, it just so happened to work. I believe they were looking for a cleaner at the time because their their current contract with Service Master was over. They were increasing their prices about 35% and they just didn't, you know, they didn't want to pay, pay that much of an increase, which is kind of crazy because we've probably tripled what they were paying by now uh, as of now. But 
Uh, but yeah, the, the bill was going up. I asked them for their budget or what they were currently paying and found a, a spot that, that worked for me where I was, like, I knew I was gonna eventually put employees in there. So I priced it to have employees in there and wanted to make sure that my price with employees wouldn't be over what they were expecting like from service master. So once I came in under that price, it pretty much sealed the deal. And so they were ready for us to start uh, within the next couple of weeks. I told them that I'd build in advance and they were like, oh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, they gave me my money up front and we showed up the, the next day to clean. If you guys want to see how that went, I actually have it on YouTube. It, uh, it's actually one of my first YouTube videos. So if you are curious to see how that first night of work went, where it was just uh, me and Maddie cleaning uh, <laughs> cleaning our first location, it's kind of cool. I actually went back and watched it a, a while ago before uh, turning on the camera. And it was kind of cool to look back and see where I was then and what I was thinking. and. Uh, I was, I was right about pretty much every, everything that I was feeling and, uh, and right about what I felt for my company and I knew that it would grow, I knew that it, this would work, I knew that business was the answer and I'm glad that I've been, I've been at it ever since. We've hit some hard times lately and you know, things are a little rough around here right now uh, as far as uh, company growth, you know, sales, is easy, you know, sales has become easy but people management has become difficult so uh, that's our current struggle and that's what we're currently dealing with. But yeah, it's, it's been a great seven years with this company. I think just that company alone over the last seven years, we've probably made half a million dollars just from that contract, not including the other contract that they, that, that point of contact referred us to. So uh, not bad for a dollar 75 of ad spend. Granted, I, I wasted six grand after that, but dollar 75 in ad spend turned into half a million dollars of client over the over the next five to seven years I'll, I'll take that every day so but I hope this inspires or encourages one of you guys to go out there experiment with some of these different avenues of marketing especially Google Ads before you do Google Ads make sure your website is well built make sure your SEO is is, is at least somewhat set up because it's it, your 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 cost per click and cost per impression is going to be a lot cheaper if you you have good SEO uh, and yeah, and, and just go try stuff. Experiment with Facebook ads, with, with LinkedIn ads. Uh, I've had success with all of these different avenues of marketing. And you want to stick with the one that's working the best for you. So during different times of the year, I adjust my marketing because sometimes YouTube pre-roll ads are working better. Sometimes the pay-per-click campaigns are working better. Sometimes the Instagram ads are working better. So, and I focus on which, which things are, are working at that time for, for paid. And obviously you do the same thing for organic. You post everywhere organically. Uh, when you have fire or you catch virality on one of those platforms, you take that content and use it as an ad. And because you know it obviously works, you know it obviously resonates with people. Now you know that you can put money behind it and, and put it in front of more people and it'll resonate with them as well. Uh, but I, yeah, I really hope this helps you guys. That was a little bonus tip at the end. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're so close to monetization. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we do have people approaching us for sponsorships and uh, you know things like that, and wanting me to uh, suggest some products and services to you guys, uh, and, and they offer money. And I don't sell you guys anything, so that may be something I might say yes to. So that uh, I want to know what you guys think. So comment in the bottom. Do we, do we want uh, you know sponsorships so that we can? take care of the channel a little bit more. Maybe that we can use some of that money to uh, do some giveaways and do, you know, do some more uh, help pay for you know, my time for to do some one-on-ones. Uh, I plan on hopping on live tomorrow to you know, find somebody to help uh, through, through their process and help through their cleaning business. I wanna find one person to really like hone in on and, uh, and train and coach and, and give them a step-by-step -step guide to what to do next to, to get to that first second or fifth client or what have you or uh, maybe someone who's just struggling already in business that's not sure how to clean up their systems or how to create systems to to move to the next level so when well, next time i'm on live look out for me hit uh, hit me up and uh, if you want to be that person and then the next time i'm on live i'm going to do that and i think helping one person create that step-by-step -step guide is going to help uh, so many people because so many people be able to kind of pull from it and see how i'm thinking about things and how you're making systems that work for an individual business owner and not uh, just trying to copy off of whatever everyone else is doing because so you have to you have to build your business for you um, but that's that that's it man i love you guys i appreciate you guys for being here thank you for watching i'm so so grateful i love you all keep that boss mentality peace